Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation, Moreover, they offer lifetime after-sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. The Merry Christmas sale is live right now. Don't miss out Keys fans' incredible holiday discounts. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for details. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we'll be testing out the latest version of WinLater Mali 2.0. Loaded with new features and improvements with the latest Box 64 version in P-Root version. They've added new 3D tests like Cube d 3 d and Sphere Map, focusing on better performance and wider compatibility. Plus, there's the experimental D3D9 wrapper feature. They've also included additional x86 and x64 Visual C packages, along with the XNA framework. Many other things have been added as well. They also added and fixed some new game presets and made some changes. All right, now just head to Assets, download and install the package. Here, I'll go with the Glib C version because the P-Root version have some issues. Now I'll close all. Now open WinLater Molly. Allow permission. So in this video, I'm using the Realme Narzo 70 Turbo, which is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 with eight gigs of RAM. Now simply head over to Settings. Set box 64 version to 0.3.0 default, which is stable. Set preset to performance. Okay, now save settings. Add new container. Set screen resolution to 768p or 600p or even lower. For very low end device set to 480p. Everything is same as usual. Driver set to Veer GL. DX wrapper to Wine D3D. Set audio driver to Pulse Audio. Enable FPS meter if you want. And in Wine configuration set GPU name to GTX 480 or Intel HD 4000, it's recommended for better support. Set video memory size to maximum, or if you are using a low RAM device, set it to 1024 or lower. Two gigs of memory is more than enough. Now to environment variables, make sure Mesa GL version value set to 2.1. And to advanced section, select startup selection to aggressive mode. All right, now everything is set. Now save the container. Now boot the container. All the settings we applied are the same as what we used in our recent WinLater Mali videos. Now go to start. Install. Here install recommended files, which will install all necessary drivers and the Visual C libraries. Install FISEX driver. And in this update, they added XNA framework for DirectX 9 runtime components for better compatibility. It's done. And also here in this update, they updated some new presets, fixed some bugs. As mentioned, they added 3D tests like Cube D3D. Of course, we are getting better frame rates. And the sphere map as well. Like we are getting better performance. And one more thing. Go to System Tools. Wine Configuration. Set Windows 10 version. All right. Now it's time to test. Simply create shortcuts for your imported PC games to the container. Also, don't expect highly intensive titles like GTA 5, Cyberpunk 77, God of War to run on Mali GPU devices. They won't work well because of driver limitations. Like, obviously, there are no drivers for Mali. You can only be able to run DirectX 9 or lower titles like the old, less demanding titles. Now let's go to shortcut section. Here, you can set individual settings for each game shortcut you created inside the container, and you can directly run them from here. Well, it's not working. Like maybe the optimization issue, it's a common issue with OnePlus and Realme devices. These phones usually don't let you use the full potential of the hardware with these emulators, unlike Samsung or Xiaomi. Now let's try with another one. Dear Molly, what's wrong with you, dude? What's wrong with you?
<laughs> Again, unhandled exception error. I'm done. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. It's free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.